In this video we find out what's hiding behind these red telephone boxes, plus we show you more of what Morella's newest ship has to offer. Right then. Right then, right then, morning, morning. So let's start and tell you about all the, the day that we had when we were docked in Livorno. Now I got up to um, to watch us have a, a sail in. Paul and didn't. I, and I didn't. <laughs> no. But I wanted to show you, um, it's a very industrial port, um, but it's quite an interesting sailing because we came past a few cruise ships, which we'll show you now. And after seeing the fabulous sailing, um, sitting on the, I just love having a balcony cabin, just being able to sit there with a cup of coffee, because we're going to give you kettles, and life was very dandy until Paul, I, well. <laughs> life was very it was, dandy. I, do you know, I love, Aww. that is my happy place, just sat on a balcony, watching the world go by, it's just fabulous. I left Paul to snore till about, I don't know, a ten-ish and a half, ten, and then we decided that we were going to miss breakfast, and wait until we could go to, um, Oh, the snack shack. The snack shack. Yes. See that? <laughs> because I have a lie in my brain functions. Because the snack shack, found on the pool deck. Yes. Nestled just in one of the corners. But it's not. Weirdly, I'd say the actual area where they prepare the food is probably bigger than on some of the other ships. But they've got these like beach huts. And on some of the other ships, there's definitely more beach huts. There's only about five or six yeah. on there, which is basically you can just... I mean, you can do whatever you like with your food. You can take it back to your cabin. You can go into the kitchens. You can do anything you like. Eat Sit it on your sunbed. But if you wanted to eat it by the snack shack, there's these little beach huts. We're a very picture, picture skew, which obviously Carl can put some pictures on. Now, the snack shack, what do they serve? They serve fish and chips. They serve um, chicken wings. They serve burgers. They serve hot dogs. Next to the snack shack, they've got a cabinet that has got salads, sandwiches, wraps, wraps, pots of fresh fruit. Yes. So it's it's the ideal grab and go type venue. And then Paul said to me, "I've got a new way of eating chicken drumsticks." And I'm like, "Really? Yes, I've been watching it on TikTok." So this is <laughs> see what you think about this. He was so chuffed with himself. I was like. Really? Anyway, here you go. So, so it's quite, <laughs> quite reminiscent of a, uh, bull, a bulldog chewing a wasp, yeah, exactly. I think you'll find. But what I love about the Snack Shack as well, which is, yeah. a, which is a theme throughout this ship, is they don't, you know, this might go against the grain for a lot of people, but they don't give you humongous portions, but they posit positively encourage you that if you're still hungry, have some more. Yeah. So I actually started off with fish and chips. It was too... Um, it was goujons, two, it was, really. Yeah, it was goujons. It was sort of rem, it, it was sort of a size of a fish finger, but but a goujon. You know, it wasn't a it, big one. It, yeah, big fish a big finger. fish finger. So two lovely pieces of fish. Not a massive portion of chips, but um, for a normal person, it would be enough. But obviously, yes. then I had to go back just for the purposes of showing you how to eat that chicken wing. <laughs> I had to go back and get some um, chicken wings. And I have to say, mm. it was all fabulous. And they run a slightly different system on here, which they haven't in the past. First of all, big shout out, I hope we can put this in, but there's a lady who sort of stands at the yeah. front of the snack shack area. She's and, she, and she takes your order. And she should be in the entertainment team because her <laughs> singing is phenomenal. <laughs> and when I went out to order my second lot of food, we actually had a bit of a George Michael Faith sing-along, <laughs> which we can't put, because I didn't video that, but it was hilarious. So when you order, because everything's cooked fresh to order, which is great, so nothing's hanging around. They give you a little um, pager, you go and sit down, when it's ready, brrr, yeah. brrr, go and get it. I had the chicken wings as well, they were delicious, but I also had a Caesar salad from the um, from the coolers, and I had a pot of uh, fresh fruit, which was delicious. 
so yeah so if you just want so something quick and easy but very very tasty um, the snack shack's the place to be definitely so then we thought you know what um, let's just we're going to spend the day on board because we've been to Livorno before and been to Florence and done Pisa and all those things so we thought let's make the most of the pool uh, while a lot of people are off on excursions and it was lovely wasn't it Paulie it was a, still busy on the pool that, no doubt about it but um, easy to get a, a, a easy to get a sunbed um, and they have in the afternoons it's not too intrusive but because sometimes you just want some quiet but obviously when you're on a ship with, with kids on you're not going to get that anyway but it wasn't like bonkers well you will busy. if you go away yeah. from the pool there's yeah. some beds elsewhere around the yes. pool but, that you can get quiet yes. but where were we any I know we were by, by the, the pool. pool yes so what they do is they have a couple of quizzes in the afternoons so they had a general knowledge quiz which was all about food and I'm going to be perfectly honest now, I literally couldn't be bothered to walk up and get a piece of paper. But there was an Irish couple led on the beds next to us, so I just helped him with some of the answers I knew, which he was very impressed with my knowledge of cake. And I just pointed out and said, well, you know, <laughs> there was a Jaffa cake question. And then they had like this um, emoji type thing where they would use emojis and you had to guess the phrase and that and that was on like a time limit. And again, we didn't take part, but we, we, we witnessed the scenes and it was fabulous. And then we had our first swim. We did. Oh, it was cold. The pool is, um, it's filtered seawater, so it's slightly salty, uh, but it's, it's cold to get in. But once you're in, it was absolutely yes. beautiful. And deep as well. Yes, I can touch the bottom anyway. Five foot 11 at the shallow end. Yes. It goes from five foot 11 to six foot three so yeah. um but we had Carol a lovely time Carol had no chance but yeah no. so uh yeah so we thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed our pool time we did so after our, our lovely swim we feel a bit peckish so um, we we were talking to just to interject how we knew about this we've usually got our finger on the pulse especially when it comes to food but we were talking to a lovely couple yeah what they called <laughs> come on then you can tell them Anne and Colin. Anne and Colin. And they said, oh, have you tried the afternoon tea yet in the kitchens? And we're like, no, oh. no, we haven't. So purely for research purposes. Yes. Three till five. So we nipped into the kitchens for afternoon tea. And it's just in one section. They have a selection of obviously sandwiches and scones. And do you know what, it was delicious, wasn't it? We looked at the sandwiches initially and we thought, oh, they don't look like they've got much filling. But it, actually they were quite deceptive, weren't they? But uh, we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Three or four different lots of sandwiches, sausage rolls. Oh yes, hot sausage rolls. Hot sausage rolls, two different sorts of scones. You could have ones with raisins, so raisins and plain. And they had a nice little glu a gluten-free section as well. You had the choice of whipped cream or clotted cream and obviously it's got to be clotted cream because you know we can't be friends if you're putting whipped cream on it uh jam weirdly marmalade which obviously i didn't have yeah but um it was fabulous yeah or everything yeah. That we had um w was delicious so if you like your afternoon teas yes. uh then you should get it get up to the kitchen between three and five and enjoy it there so for those of you that are new to our channel um normally we do a weekly live stream it normally is at seven o'clock on a thursday uk uk time but when we're obviously traveling uh it varies depending on wi-fi depending on signal and whether we're in port or not so we decided that we were um, in Laverno till 7pm, which gave us time to do a live at 5 o'clock uh, UK time. And we tested the Wi-Fi in the morning and uh, all the signal. Thought, yes, we've got enough to stream. Um, so didn't think any more of it. So turned everything on about quarter to five. Um, well, it was quarter the, to six this time. The panic. The, this, and the signal this was one, rubbish. She went through every gambit of emotions and the panic she went through. <laughs> and, oh. oh, my God, it was just like, oh, woe was me. We were on the balcony. We were inside. Yeah. We were trying 4G. We were trying Wi-Fi. Then we were trying to open the door and, to let the, yeah, the Wi-Fi so in. It seemed to be slightly better <laughs> sat at our little desk over there. Yeah. And then um, Emma Cruz has taught us this little tip. If you open the cabin door and wedge yes. something in there, and we've got a wedge to wedge our door open, funny enough, it lets the Wi-Fi in. Yes. Now I know you think that we're bonkers, yes. but it does actually work. And what made it, it worse? On this occasion. And it did on this occasion. What made it worse was with about two minutes to go, cars going. Well, we're going to have to cancel. We're going to have to cancel. And then we went on to the basically. You go onto the thing. You've got your screen there where, where you can see yourself. And then down the right hand side, you get people that are already in the chat. And it was just the amount of people that was already there was bonkers, which made it even yeah. worse. Thing because Carl's like, oh my god, we can't them. let them down. We can't let them down. So we thought, right, we're just going to run with that. Yeah. And it was perfect the whole way through. It was. 
and it was one of the busiest lives we'd had for for a while. For a while. So, so yeah. So the purpose of lives is that you ask us questions. So people were asking us obviously because it's a new ship. Um, what you know, what was the food like? All these different questions. But do I'll put a link in here so you can check out our lives. Um, like I so said, we love. It's probably our favourite time of the week, isn't it? Because we built up this lovely community now that we um, we we love chatting to. I mean, so apart, do go and check apart, that out. Apart from early mornings, I mean that's obviously my favourite time. Yes, yeah, then, but lives are but second. Then the lives are second yeah. <laughs> so then it was time to get ready for the evening because we had quite an exciting evening in store. And we we really like Aperitif, uh, which is a little bar just outside Surf and Turf and uh, Cor Coralar. Aperitif is found on Deck 7 and is open from 5pm until 11pm. And it's the perfect place for a pre-dinner or pre-show drink. And we got to know a lovely waitress in there called Lun, and she's a really good laugh, isn't she? So we tend to go there for a sort of a pre-evening drink. So we sat in there just having a bit of banter, and with the other passengers. We've met so many lovely yeah. people that we just have a chat to. And Lun, she just, from the first time we went in there at the start of the cruise, she just got me straight away. Yeah. And now, I, you know, I'm in charge of Mickey Taken, <laughs> but not when I go uh, in there, because Lun always beats yeah. me to the punch. The staff fabulous. have been yeah, they've, been aren't they? they've been up against it a bit in the squid and anchor and up against it in the arts uh, they get very pockets of times where they're very busy that'll be my only criticism yeah. um, but uh, elsewhere around the ship it's been fabulous so then it was time for the exchange Ooh. now I don't know what we're allowed to tie about this but well I don't want to give too much no. away because it, um, it's, an, it, it's an I immersive know. experience yeah. which I think you should you should try sorry to interrupt but it is it is payable, you pay £14.99 and you have to book and we tried booking before getting on, on board and it was difficult but we've managed to get a slot so I would, if you can book before getting on board because it's so popular because at the moment the venue is only holding like 30, 30 people, people yeah. fair enough, so we'll give you a little taster of, of what it involved but Right then, so Paulie Morgan, we've got this special invitation, do you want to show? Yes I don't know if I can, I'm going to have to blank out. Yes. We've got a special invitation to go to the exchange. It invites you to the lock-in, so we're trying to find it now. We've been told it's on deck eight, so here we go. Oh, so that's cute people there, look. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Despite what you might think, this shirt isn't part of the show. <laughs> it's from Panama. Yeah. <coughs> the shirt is not the man. <laughs> ah, we're next in. How exciting is that? We're going in. We're going in. Thank you. See you in a bit. Oh. Hello. Hi. Thank you. So, here's the phone for you, Morgan. So, we're going to have to do... Um, One hashtag. There's nobody there. Ooh, it's dead, the phone's dead. I'll try again. One hashtag. Oh, it's ringing. <gasps> Ooh. It's his own Paul and Carol Morgan Slater. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, we're, no, we're, um, Mr. Giggle Juice. <laughs> yes, we do. How tall am I? I'm, I'm five foot one. She's not, she's five foot. <laughs> Socks, no. <laughs> My hair's quite long. 
Okay, thank you, bye. Am I going to raise that? To push? Hello, my darling. Hello. Hello there, nice to see you. Are we able to film anything or is it secret? You can, it, it, yes, you can film stuff. Don't post the whole thing because that will spoil the surprise. But exactly. if, if you want to film stuff in little snippets, that's absolutely fine. Perfect. And what are your names? I'm Carol, this is Paul. Oh, I've heard so much about you guys. I'm a big fan of yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you. And that smile, sir, could knock someone out. That's right. That's right. Hello. Come on in. My friend May here. We'll show you two seats. Actually, there's two of you, isn't there? Is there is. There's just two. Like me in a glass when you... Look who it is! I've met this lady before! And I've met him before! And it, look at this interesting gadget. It's he's from got. the future, I think. From, the future. from the future. Yes. Very, I was just explaining to these lovely people, I don't drink from the glass often, I drink from the bottle to save on the cleaning. <laughs> Bobby Dussel is very confused, aren't you? <laughs> So we came out of there, uh, it was a fabulous show, um, we, that's all we're going to say. If you get the chance um, to to go to see it, we would definitely recommend it. It's just something very wacky, something very different. Uh, and we've met the cast around the ship and they're just a lovely lot, they're aren't fabulous. they? So uh, And really, really talented. Yeah, so hi Lewis and Eve, um, it's been a pleasure to meet you. So after being entertained in the exchange, it was time for uh, the Broadway Show Lounge. They have two shows a night, one at Happers Day and one at Happers Ten. So we went to the Happers Ten one and it was movies of the musicals. It obviously wasn't that, was it? Because that doesn't even make movies any sense. Movies of the musicals. I wrote down movies of the musicals. Should, I will go and get my program. Surely it should be um, music of the movies or something like that. Movies of the musicals doesn't make any sense. Wait there. As he hangs his head in shame, you will see from the programme here, from the cruise news that you get in your cabin. Can you see here? And like see. I said, it's called Movies of the Musicals. Yes, Movies of the Musicals. I can't believe you said it, said it wasn't. I should never believe ah. it, I said. So it says, all our favourite musicals to have to hit the big screen, including Evita Cabaret, Mamma Mia and more. So we sat down and we got our seats, aren't we? Three rows back. Three rows back. Um, from the stage, and it was absolutely fabulous when it pulled in. Thoroughly, thoroughly, um, just to skirt back over stuff. The first show we really enjoyed, the second show was absolute banger, and this show was the same. Yeah, it was fabulous. So, it was, movies from the musical. That's what it's was called, definitely. Don't and, you, don't you listen to anybody <laughs> that says any different. And here's a few scenes from the show. So after watching the show, uh, we were pretty pretty hungry, weren't we? Because we hadn't eaten since our afternoon tea. So yes, because we sort of done double lunch because we had fish and chips, chicken and chips, um, <laughs> well, you did salads and fruit, and then we had afternoon yeah. tea. We could we couldn't fit in a, 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 dinner, a dinner, but we went to the the kitchens is open for late night snacks from uh, ten till midnight, and we went there and they had the most amazing butter chicken curry, didn't they? Absolutely delicious. I went for the choice of champions. I had butter chicken, chips, and a cheeseburger. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I really did yeah. that. And I was dipping my cheeseburger in my butter chicken. Yes, so I am weird. an absolute <laughs> philistine. Uh, and then so the show team came up. We were chatting away to them when they, Chloe was there, who's, who's been such great company. So, yeah. So the kitchens have been a hit with us, haven't oh, they? Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah. So, and then it was time for bed. We were actually burnt out by then, weren't we? Because we'd had such a busy, well, it's been a busy cruise, hasn't yeah. it? Because there's so much going on. Um, but stick with us because we'll let you know what we get up with for the next day. Get up too. Get up too. Yes. The next day. <laughs> 
Join us in our next video where we celebrate our wedding anniversary in Saint-Tropez.